All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> this is going to be for Pisces, week three, July, week three, 2021. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I don't know if some of like you guys are visiting a museum of science, like expedition. I don't know what you're doing. This, I just feel like prehistoric energy with you. So I, I hope it's not like somebody you're dealing with or you're like in prehistoric times here because I probably won't cut it for us modern time people who, <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to shut my mouth. I don't know if you're visiting museums. I don't know. But, um, oh, you know what? There was something I read on like Google or something. There was like a Triceratops or tri something found, which is pretty incredible. So um, maybe you're just into stuff like that. I don't know. Google it. It was just found within like the last few days. Pisces. I just saw the sun, so that's extremely positive. Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Hanged Man. Death card, page of cups. You well, you're totally in your feelings. I don't know if you're trying to change your perspective, if this is somebody else's vibe I'm picking up on. Like to me, what I'm picking up on is like you're going through a, a massive transition. Um, to me, something's not held up. If you're holding anything up, it would be you staying in a scenario where you're feeling stuck and you're emotional and you can't get out of it. It doesn't feel like that to me. It feels like, you know, fresh energy, happy, you're in your emotions, but you're good. So I don't think you need to change your perspective. I think... I think you've sacrificed enough is the vibe I'm getting. So somebody was holding you up or this is like you have to change your perspective. But something's already over. Okay, so either you or somebody else, someone wants to transform this Two of Cups energy. The Fool. It's a brand new start with the Queen of Cups. So you're coming in as fire and water. That's why I don't feel like you've got to change your perspective. So someone else might be changing, you might be dealing with the Pisces that's changing the perspective when it comes to you. Because to me, you were that contentment, that Queen of Cups, why I thought you've sacrificed enough already. So you're on a new journey. Like, you're letting something go. You took your feelings elsewhere is what I'm picking up on. So somebody else has not cut ties, maybe. Four of Swords. So you put your emotions on pause. You're thinking about it. See, I don't pick it up. I'm not picking up on your thinking about it, though. To me, you're, you're already on a new path. You just started something new. You're about to, right? So your energy is, is more uplifting than what's surrounding you. Yeah, see, again, coming in as fire. So... You could be dealing with a Pisces or any sign, right? It's just how they're coming in and they're thinking about you. They're like, this chick is on fire. I don't think they like the fact that you emotionally moved on. Tell me about this hangman. Yeah, see, something didn't go in their direction. A relationship, a commitment, something didn't. They didn't sacrifice. So you were dealing with somebody else who had to make a sacrifice. Unless this is you. It just feels like 
somebody like put up blockages, boundaries. It was unjustified. It was unbalanced. It was unfair. You got justice at the bottom of the deck. Like it didn't. You probably were dealing with somebody who was freaking cocky too, because this is somebody who thought something would go in their direction, and they're just looking at you like. Breathtaking. You're dealing with somebody who is either dealing with past life regression that came in again with somebody or they just, they're clingy. They won't let go. Hmm. So something looks like something wants to transform something. So yeah, see the death coming to a cup. So someone's upset, disappointed that something ended that to me, is, if you're a feminine Pisces, your energy is shifted. Your, your emotions have shifted. Something was telling me you'd already sacrificed enough. This person didn't sacrifice anything that you can see. And it's caused disappointment. Yeah, see, now you have a masculine here that feels like, first of all, this energy is detached and... They miss you. It's it's a lack. It was unbalanced. It was unjustified. For some of you, it could have been karmic. Um, but to me, it's like something didn't go in their favor. Page of Cups. Page of Cups wants to come out again. So, to me, I don't know if you're stressing over it or not. It came out reversed with the world. So something's still not over. All right, but there's still blockages. To me in your head it probably is over. But it is not over. And some of you are probably happy hearing that, others of you you're not happy. Um you could be dealing with somebody who just needs closure and you do not. You know, um this is somebody who's you know, at one point you had a beautiful connection. It was the Two of Cups. It's, it's upright. It's it's a partnership. It's a connection. Um, but there's, you know, disappointment and lack and things, you know, push and pull. Things not being structured. There was no balance. You were dealing with an energy detached. Okay. Um, did not want a commitment. Did not just thought it would go in a different direction and it didn't. But it's like they can't take their eyes off of you either. So, I don't think you're stressed. Some of you, your intuition is just telling you, you know, it's going to come back around. But until then, you're doing your own thing. Because right now, you're coming in as the Queen of Cups, the Fool, and the Princess of Wands. Like, you're good. This is like, I'm golden. So, as far as this, as far as this other energy is concerned, they have not let go. Some of you are going to be okay with that. Others of you will not be okay with that. But right now, I'm proud of you. Keep focused on you. Continue this journey. Continue feeling this energy. It's, it's uplifting. It's positive. I wouldn't make any more sacrifices. Because right now, you're in a really good headspace. Try not to stress out. See what this past person wants, current past person, whoever this, what is they want from you. It's kind of like, it's almost like they want you to go in, have more confidence. But to me, you already have more confidence. Maybe they want you to be a little more independent. Got I feel like I sound like, to me, like that'd be somebody like you're dealing with a narcissist. That would drive me like what? Because this is somebody who wants you to go with it. Remember, I was saying something over here too. It's like somebody. It's like wanting you to see something different. Maybe they want you to see that they're more independent. Maybe they want to see that you're more independent. I doubt it. I don't really picking up that vibe like that. Maybe they want you to make more money, have a little more security. Queen of Cups, she loves, she wears a heart on her sleeve. The Fool, it's do to do, you know, it's going with the flow, loving life. You know, the Page of Wands, Princess of Wands, same thing, very um, adventurous, free spirit. Yeah, this is a free spirit. Maybe somebody wants you to be a little more practical. 
I tell them to go fucking kick sand, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, you must be dealing with a little bit of a control freak. What type of energy are you dealing with? Because it, it, it sounds so shitty, but that's what it's, that's kind of what they're looking for. It's like they're waiting for you, and it's like, nah, you're good. You're just a free spirit. You know, looking at your photos, missing you, wanting to make new memories. Yes, you want to come back around, but, you know, could they love your independence? Yeah, but with the hermit there, it's like their own insecurities. Watching, looking, gaslighting, focusing out. Really, See, it's like not really telling you what they want, how they feel. It's, you are dealing with somebody who likes to have a little bit of control. Seduction. Flirting, dating, hooking up, third party interference. Okay, so oh, you got mirror down here. So self-reflection, somebody that really needs to go in and look at themselves in the mirror before they're passing judgment. So uh, I say continue being that free bird. You look like you got things under control. You just know that somebody is, is not wanting to really let you go or vice versa. So eventually, you know, this will come back around. But right now, just enjoy enjoy your freedom, your independence, your everything about you. Okay, because you're about to go on a new journey. You're probably going to get some news to some letters, um, some text. You'll be fine. I don't really feel like this is saying you should change your perspective. Because then, it, it, if... If that was a need, this would be the other way around and the wheel would go in your direction, right? But no, this is total free bird. Care like, you're good. You're good. So you're dealing with somebody who kind of wanted to, I hate to say it, like shape you into something that was more realistic for them, if that makes sense. But not for everybody, for some of you. And that's that's not going to sl slide. And they they pick up on that. They get it, you know. Um, I just, they want to see you a little more independent, but that's, that's on them. I, I hate to say it like that, which makes me think, and it's just my opinion that you're dealing with somebody who, you know, needs to go within and, and look at themselves and what's going on in their life and why they feel this lack. Well, because they didn't give, right? So... Hopefully this energy comes back at you in a, in a different way when they do. Right now, just continue doing what you're doing. Because you're good, I'm telling you, you're solid. You already have that. They just don't see it. And they don't need to, as long as you do. Continue doing you. I love you guys. See you on Patreon.